can you tell us about the insurance for um, government schools? And second, paragraph two, uh, background. The purpose of the plan is to uh, provide appropriate protection um, to aid the schools for their daily operations. So you are not pro protecting the students or teaching staff, you are protecting the school's daily operation. Is it the right right way of interpreting it? So for teachers and students, if they want to have appropriate protection, um, should they take out their own insurance policies? Because the public would think that the government has already taken out insurance for schools, so that's enough. But teachers and students are not appropriately protected, so should they take out their own insurance? Under Secretary, I'll answer the second question first. Well, for the BIP, as the Vice Chairman said, well, in schools' daily operation, they may um, be responsible for certain activities. For example, if we uh, buy if uh, policy insurance for our, our private cars, we would have to take out a third party insurance. So this is the same case. We are protecting schools so that they can make compensations, but indirectly we are protecting the claimants because if they can prove that it's the school's responsibility, then they can get compensation. As for government schools, maybe I can ask my colleague to supplement. From 1998 onwards, government school students have been uh, covered by group personal accidents insurance. As for government school teachers, they are civil servants, so they are uh, protected under the civil service ordinance. The, the as, as for the group, uh, as for the public liability insurance of government schools, because the schools are operated by the government, and if it's really the negligence on the part of the school, then the government will take the responsibility. So for government schools, the government will bear the responsibility. How about government school teachers and students? Are there protection similar to um, the protection of uh, students in other schools? As for student protection, I think it's more or less the same. Maybe I should put it this way. Well, let me talk about teachers first. The, um, these teachers are civil servants, and for teachers in other schools, they are not civil servants. So for the CSO and the um, employees' compensation ordinance, as to whether the terms are the same, I cannot answer you right now. I have to check. So the major difference is that government school teachers are civil servants. Can you provide information to us after the meeting? Maybe I can uh, supplement. As for group personal accident insurance, for government schools and aided schools, the ceiling is $100,000. That's for students. As for employees' compensation insurance and public liability insurance, for aided schools, the ceiling is $100 million. and it's for one occurrence. And if um, the compensation, ex compensation exceeds the level, the government will uh, bear the responsibility. So that's n not a big difference between government schools and aided schools. But of course, we will have to look at the actual um, occurrence to make a decision.